Hello everybody. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about decibels or actually uh, DVMs, decibels and DVMs. So let's start. Uh, a DV, well let's start. A DV is by definition is equal to 10 times the log of a ratio of two powers p prime over p uh, and remember now this is a ratio this is a ratio expressed in db so so here we go this is a ratio now let's talk about it and let me say this is by definition and I uh, and I recommend that you commit this formula to memory. Almost all radio engineers will use this almost every day in their life, and that's something that you just want to just want to kind of know. Now, the next term I want to talk about is a dBm or a decibel related to one milliwatt. And again, by definition, a dBm is equal to 10 times the log of some power that you want to express over one milliwatt which and this is a dBm now why would you ever want to use dBs and dBms uh, well let me give you an example of how we use it let's say we have an amplifier so we start out we have a signal over here that drives an amplifier and the gain of this amplifier is is a 2 and remember the gain is defined as is a power out over power in and it drives into a load let's also assume that we got one watt going in here if it has a gain of 2 then we're going to deliver 2 watts to the load All right, now let's go figure out its gain in dB so we just plug in the numbers so its gain and dB is equal to 10 times the log of the power out 2 over the power in 1. If you do the uh, arithmetic, this turns out to be 3 dB. All right, so kind of, so sort of reviewing again. A dB is just a ratio, a measurement, all right? Uh, and we can describe the things, the gain of things, how much it gains or loses by this formula. This fraction can be bigger than one or less than one. So now uh, let me switch to a spreadsheet to kind of help uh, depict and give some examples. All right, so, uh, and I want to show you something, a little trick. Uh, it turns out that if we do the math, that one watt turns out to be 30 dBm. Now notice if I go from one watt to two watts, it goes up by 3 dB. If I double it again, go from two watts to four watts, it now goes up by 3 dB. So let's go back to this number. If I'm sitting over here at 1 watt and I go to 10 watts, it jumps by a factor of 10. So as radio engineers, my recommendation is that you remember this number. Is that, is that 1 watt equals 30 dBm. And if you double it, you add 3. If you multiply it, if you increases by a factor of 10 it goes up by 10 also dBs can go down so if you're sitting out here at 1 watt and you have some attenuation by a factor of 10 and you end up with 100 milliwatts you now have <clears throat> uh, it drops off by a factor of 10 also I've uh, 
snuck in another term over here, a dBw. A dBw is a dB reference to 1 watt. And notice the difference between these numbers is a factor of 30. So if you had 30 dBm, you all have 0 dBws. Again, if you were to have 10 watts, you would have 10 dBw. <clears throat> Some engineers, especially terrestrial guys, started life in the terrestrial worlds use dBm's. The satellite guys tend to use uh, dBw's. Uh, you can see that I started out with uh, dBm's which uh, dates me means uh, they didn't have satellites when I was in school. <laughs>